welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasland. We just uh, released Kung Fu Possum Remaster. Don't worry, you haven't really missed anything. I just decided I would do that remaster uh, just in between episodes to accrue a little bit more of money. Um, because I really do want to work on the console, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a console if it kills us. Yes, this has to happen. Yep, yep, we're going to remove the room. We're going to uh, develop a new console. As a matter of fact, we're going to make this a little bit bigger, just as we had it before. Remember how we set that up like that, and then we had an insane amount of desks in here? Because, you know, that makes sense. Sure, just a modern workbench. We're going to take all the credit we can take, uh, and we're going to develop it. I don't know how long it takes to develop a game console, because I haven't really done it that often. I hope it doesn't take too long, otherwise I'll, I'll have a problem. Yeah, that looks like somebody thought about what they were doing certainly 21 people yeah let's develop a new console i don't even think i can uh deal with that there's so many people anyway we're going to develop a new console i don't i'm not going to buy a new office uh we're not going to make a game for it just yet we're going to do that as soon actually if i remove that nah, that's fine we're going to develop a new console uh it's going to be a handheld because it's a little bit cheaper uh we're going to call it the Game Girl. Game Girl, yep. Uh, we're not going to go for the hottest new screen. Like, this screen is going to cost us, like, 24 million. Jesus. Um, I'm trying to come up with, like, a good, like, like safe medium um, that's not too expensive that we can't afford. Like, the mini cartridge is 24 million. I don't know. The super cartridge will probably do it. First generation screen might do it. 13 megahertz. Uh, you know what? Nintendo gets away with it. Why not us? Yeah, fancy new case. Why not? Just maybe maybe generation case there and give it a little bit of extra RAM. And 13 megahertz. That's fine. That's fine. I would love to have a nice screen, but it's 52 million. That we can't afford. I guess it's screen generation one. That's what it is. Here you go. We're developing a console now. It's it's official, and we have 14 or yeah, 60 million actually. But we have a bunch of millions available to us. Um, we have no development studio, so there's a lot of people that are actually bored, so to speak. Uh, I guess that's just how it goes. Uh, we can we could demolish some of the other rooms and make this one bigger, so we have everyone working on the game. We don't need those. We're not going to develop a game right now. We will once we finish the console. But then we're also going to be moving buildings, I'm pretty sure. Or at least that that's my intention. Yeah, that's that's a reasonably sized room. Let's just throw everyone into a, a, a console development. Because this is either make or break. We're either going to be filthy rich. Or it's going to... You know what? It could also just be like a, like a healthy medium. We're not going to be filthy rich. But uh, we're also not going to be broke. As long as we make some of our money back, I'd be very happy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, effective space, uh, use of effective space is definitely different. We can create a campaign for our game console, which we should do. Uh, let's put this on auto repeat to bring it up to 50. Kung Fu Possum is still making, still selling lots of copies, actually. I'm actually amazed by that. Let's make another 250,000. It's like 40,000 a week. Obviously, we're going to do that. I have 20 million. We're not going to be broke. And the console is done. Yeah, it was completed. Double A titles. Uh, how much should the development kit be? Uh, the development kit should be for free. The production console is 85. Set the price automatically. Eh, 85, 199. I'm tempted to set it to $2.99 and allow games from third party. Of course. I want I want uh, uh, people to actually do this. Okay, we sold, <laughs> we sold 31 copies of our game. Oh, that's great. 31 whole friggin' copies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I I I didn't think this through. Well. Well, then, it's time to develop uh, something. Uh, actually, make a make a development studio. Why can I not? That's the question. 
automatically place objects. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that a thing? You probably told me already, didn't you? You're smarter than me. You're you're way smarter than me. Oh, look at that. It automatically places it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, well, music studio. Yep, it's, why can I not place this? Is this because there's people in the way? Oh no, I see there's, there's fire extinguishers. All right, six by seven music studio. Well, that did not work. I mean, it's cute that it, well, we need it bigger. As a matter of fact, we're going to uh, need QA. I'm, I'm amazed by this feature. I did not know it existed. Now I do. I feel really silly. <laughs> All right, QA, uh, yeah, best best QA. Put that, put a big one here. I know there's, there's, there's fire extinguishers, who cares? Big QA office, wonderful. And it, it's just the best rooms. Let's bring the lowest quality so they use smaller booths, hopefully. Music studio. That was not worth it. I can squeeze in more stuff. I guess that's the downside. And a graphic studio right next to it. This is awful. I think I think we can all agree that I did a better I did a way better job at placing this stuff, but hey. Hey. That's okay. I guess we're going to develop a small game. Double A title. Uh what's a good one? I guess platformer. We should have a sequel. We should make a sequel to one of our platformers. Where were they? Soundcraft Industry Gnome. Wait. Those are Austin Flowers is an RPG. It has a still a pretty big fan base. Maybe we should do an RPG for our handheld. Yup. And we're gonna exclusively develop for that for those 33 people. No, just kidding. We're actually going to be a little bit smarter about that. All right, the game girl. Why can I not develop for that? What's wrong with that? It says zero. I have no idea. Oh, because I still have to buy it. Right. That's all right. And obviously for all the other platforms and our own. Completed game reports. What about... There it is, Austin Flowers. Uh, looks like we didn't get gameplay, game dev, and story right. So we're gonna copy the settings. Well, let's hope for the best. We still have enough money to develop this. This is either gonna go horribly wrong or really well. Yeah. Yeah, disable, enable all the things. Why not? Improve gameplay, yup. And we're gonna remove bugs. I'm a, I'm a little worried that we're not gonna be able to catch up to those bugs fast enough, but it should be better balanced. Your employees want more cabinets. Is is that so? You want you want cabinets? Ugh. Fine. You know what? You can, you can have some cabinets. It even has its own category. Fancy schmancy. Here's one, and here's a few. I mean, the rooms are auto decorated, so. They shouldn't be missing much. Best soundtrack for Kung Fu Possum and Game of the Year. Oh yeah. That's why it's selling so fantastically well. I mean, it is really throwing. That's a lot of money. Game Girl, all-time sales, 452. This, this is not good. It's pretty shitty, actually. Well, I mean, maybe it's going to do better over time. We set automatic pricing. So... I can't tell how much money we're making with it, though. Hopefully a little bit. Um, it's important to get the sales out, though. That's really, really, really important. Uh, where is that? Where is con- Oh, I don't have a console development room anymore because I replaced it. This is, this is what happens if you don't get a bigger office. This is silly. You know what? A thousand, a thousand? That's fine. Sure, I'm- Certain people love to have a console that has no games, like none. I mean, it's 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 really popular, but it <laughs> it has no games. How how is this working? Why did I do this? Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully make some money with our new title, our new game. Well, taking down those bugs takes forever. Uh, let's spend more time removing bugs. Both both offices can work on that. Gameplay is high enough. And once we finish this up, we're, we're gonna move offices. This is this is a silly, sad display of, of, of everything. All right, release the game, yes. 
Uh, we're gonna self-produce. Two weeks remaining. Looks good to me, and it is a 77% game. Hopefully that helps sell the game girl a little bit. Uh, where is it? Austin Flowers the game, 250,000. It looks like Kung Fu Puzzle has some orders. Not a lot. I think it's kind of like done. All right, dear Austin Flowers, how are you doing? How is, how's the game girl doing? Selling a little bit, but barely, barely worth mentioning. Barely worth mentioning. All right, it's time to move to a bigger place. This is this is, has been silly in here. We're gonna be moving to a uh, large 990. That's 24 million to move to huge office building. I think we're gonna go with large. There you go. That's 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 fairly huge. Uh, we're gonna go with low quality objects that should give us some more room. Right. Time for development. A nice big dev office right over here. Did it not automatically? Nope, it did not automatically select the objects. I should select that. Development. 10 by 10. And there's 10 desks in there. This is way too tame. You can squeeze way more desks in here. I think, like, you're missing the potential. The potential is being totally missed. 15. You know what? That's okay. Training room. I want a big training room so we're not, like, missing out on certain things. 24 people. Fantastic. Let's let's keep training them some uh, programming. We're gonna have a nice QA office right across the... Yeah, five people. That's good. And then we're gonna have another QA office right over there. About five people. Those offices are way too nice. I think that's that's part of the problem. Graphic studio. Nice music studio. I'm certain I can squeeze another one in here. No doubt about that in my mind. Yeah, three. That's perfectly fine. We absolutely want a console develop uh, development one in this here. I don't even know if it needs to be that huge. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, good enough. It's not fantastic, but... Oh, internet multiplayer! Yay! We can finally do research this, and then we can do MMOs. Which are gonna be lots and lots and lots of money. Which should allow us to make games. Uh, game consoles. At least I think this is how this is gonna play out. Uh, customer support. Sure thing. Two desks. You know what? That's actually, that's actually good enough for me. Uh, marketing, we're gonna do a little bigger this time. Yeah, something along those lines. Go a little, little nuts. Storeroom to store all those games we're gonna be selling. The insane amount. Oh, I went for the cheapest ones. I went for the cheapest ones. I made mistakes. See, this is where you go for the expensive ones from the storeroom. You make more use of the space. There you go, three million we can store. Same with the production. We want that really pricey. Yep, four prices. That's more than fast enough. And we want a head office. And it doesn't even have a desk. Good job. Absolutely fantastic job. Flawless. I don't even know how you build fancy toilets. What a layout. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're not going to be selling many of the game girls here. But we can always try. Uh, research of internet multiplayer is slowly working out. In the meantime, we're just going to send these people to research and we're going to make an update for our Austin Flowers game. Just selling a few more copies of that sucker. Because, I mean, that's where the money is going to come in from now. Let's do a... M Actually, let's do a large booth with those two games and the game girl. Bring that hype up a bit. 40,000 fans extra. And hopefully we make some sales. Now that we have console development, we can change the price of our handheld console. Uh, we're selling it for 109, which is not a lot at all. It's, you know, set price automatically. Oh well. A little bit of money. But nothing I would, uh, you know, be proud of. You can now develop MMOs, which is exactly, absolutely what we're gonna do. And it's not... Absolutely, this is gonna happen. Um, a good MMO, hmm. I wonder if we can do like second life if we do simulation or so. We're gonna need an engine before we do anything. We have a bit of money. So let's go, what is that by the way? That is building, I don't care. 
Uh, optimize for simulations. Real engine. No, that doesn't work. Real the real gen. Like engine. Engine. And then we're gonna do the real gen. That totally works. Ugh, I hate that pun. It's so bad. Alright, all the features is gonna cost us one that who cares how much it costs? It's not a lot. Profit sharing, yeah, if anyone wants this, 38, yeah, 40%. Yeah, you gotta, you're gonna have to shell out if you want to use the real gin. And, yep, they're gonna keep developing it. Everyone works on that now? Good. Um, Austin Flowers, whoops! I'm gonna need to produce a little bit there. Austin Flowers, the game. One of the thousand, sure. We're gonna take Kung Fu Possum off the uh, market, though. Kung Fu Possum. Yep, there you go. Bye bye. And it's going to automatically produce 50,000 for uh, Austin Flower, so we don't have to think too much about this. This is going to be done soon. Video game crash. Oh, that's exactly what I needed right now. Ugh. Maybe we should wait. Eh, we shouldn't. Okay, the game girl is still selling. That makes me happy. All right, develop a game. Double uh, A. Topic. Oh, boy. I did simulation, so what about. Crime is really hot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go with crime. Mm. Oh, well, we do a. Yes, I have an idea. I have an idea. Uh, diving, 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 diving simulation. Where is it? Simulation. And a good subgenre for that is sports. Oh man, it is. Uh, world of. Mm, Water, world of water. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, sports simulation with diving as a topic. And where is our real gen? There it is. Target audience, adults. They have the money. And we're gonna do obviously all the big platforms with all the, sure, on the Pony Game Station. Cause that, that makes sense. And a Nintendo. Sure. I wanna, I just wanna go with the big ones and we do on our yeah we can do our handheld on the on the game girl, yeah screw it screw it I don't know how that's gonna work how that's even possible all right um graphics okay. I guess there's no story in a simulation game okay I like those settings bring those up this is always a good one for simulations would you mind sir would you mind good. So, oh, we have even one feature too many. I guess we're not gonna do, um, I don't know. Let's not do cutscenes. Sure. I, I, I like sprites. I think sprites are pretty important. Okay. We're gonna need a fan campaign, by the way. Auto repeat game giveaways. And we're gonna do marketing for this uh, MMO. Because that's really friggin' important that we bring this one up. Yeah, radio. That's where you expect marketing to happen for video games, on the radio. Okay. Austin Flowers. Oh. Out of copies. Yeah, they're gonna, it's gonna automatically produce. This is being worked on. In the meantime, we're gonna remove bugs. We're going to improve the gameplay. Yep, all the things. We're gonna make sure that this one is really awesome. This is our MMO. We're gonna need a server room as well. Wait, <gasps> wait, did I do MMO? Oh, no, I did not. Guys, this is not an MMO. Oh, no, guys. This ain't an MMO. I didn't select MMO. Well, I guess we're not gonna do that. Um, can I just... <sighs> Welp, we got at least two million back. Yep, retail. Should have selected MMO. Should have totally done that. Ah, well. Well, at least it kept all the other settings in there, so I don't have to do too much. Subscription price. Uh, sure. Seven, uh, six dollars. Well, I guess I can change that later. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to redo all of this. Okay, now we're develop uh, developing an MMO, which means we're also going to need a server room. Yeah, I'll just use the whole thing here. Why not? I don't think you need it that huge. Oops. I think I just spent like 20 million dollars building this, didn't I? How much does a server room thing cost? I, I support 14 million. I support 14 million. 
Oh, Lord. I bought way too many. Shut down server. We're not, we're not, we're not going to pay for that. I made mistakes in my life. There, there goes my, my savings. All of it. All of it is now sitting in servers. Oh, so good. I'm so glad that happened. I'm so glad that happened. That That's what happens. Just bought so many of the best servers in the world. Well, at least we're not going to have to buy any anytime soon. If I have 14 million subscribers, uh, I, I win the game. It's, it's not even close when that happens. Well, might as well do some training courses in the meantime for anyone who's not working. So at least they're learning something. And I think, yeah, Austin Flowers, that, that game's over. Well, it's time to take some credit. Uh, some loans, not credit. Mad Game Awards, you get nothing. You get the award for stupidest mistake. I, I, I can sell one of those for half a million. Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm so certain that I'm gonna... <laughs> That I sell the best MMO in the world right off the gates. I mean, it's gonna be a great game. Look at look at those numbers. Unless I completely screw it up, this is gonna go fantastic. No doubt about that. This is gonna sell like hot cakes. The question is just, uh, are the servers gonna kill us? Because that's gonna be expensive to run them. Servers are pricey. Oh well. Here goes nothing. Uh, I think it's time to take uh, Austin Flowers off the market. Yep. I mean, 14 million. That's excellent. Maybe I haven't really developed many engines recently. And World of Water is done. You want to publish it now? Nope, not not yet. Okay, gameplay, I think there's more we can research. That's already done. Wow. Um. I think there's not much that is for us to do here. I think we can release it and just hope for the best. Yep, publish it now. Self-produce. Two weeks. Yep. We're gonna throw in all the good stuff. Yep. Want to make sure set price automatically. Um. Hello, manual. I don't want a balloon. Balloons are silly. And 88%. Okay, that is good news because uh, <laughs> we certainly need some good news right now. <sighs> let's uh, 250,000. Let's let's start with that and hope it's gonna work out as I think it will. Your financial sir uh, resources are fully depleted. Uh, I'm gonna borrow the maximum of 50 million. All right, let's let's see how much World of Water sa sells. Oh, servers are offline. Uh, enable service. And any subscriptions for us? Maybe there needs to be subscriptions, right? Um, no subscriptions. Why? Why are they? Where are they? No subscriptions. Um, subscription price. Is it too high? Oh, nope, there, there are some. There are some. Okay. All right, all right. We're good. We're, I'm pretty happy here. Um, stop production. Produce the game. And let's produce automatically like, I don't know, 100,000 when we need them. Oh, it's going to produce them regardless. Whatever. We're going to develop uh, updates for this. Out the wazoo. Even if it costs us way too much. Training courses are done, so there's nothing to be done for us. Uh, marketing, yeah, let's let's uh, throw some money at this. World of Water, five hundred thousand per campaign. We need to get those subscriptions up, guys. We need to get those subscription up. I mean, it's it's a diving simulator. That's that's what we're doing here. You can't sadly turn off individual servers, which. I mean, this costs us like 200,000 just to run every day. A whole different problem. Okay. Let's do a middle-sized booth. Booth, booth. Uh, so we can promote our console and our game a little bit. Um, not that it'll sell too much. Market share, 0.01%. That's, that's such a great game. The best game. We could build, we could just get an add-on. It costs us one, two. Um... 
MMO add-on one. Sure. Let's uh let's make an add-on right off the bat. I don't know what is a good selection for this. How would I know? Just work on it, it'll it'll work out fine. Uh remove bucks. Minus 15 million. I don't know if we're we're doing too well here. If we can get our subscription numbers up, I'll I'll be very happy. Um meantime just run some training. The sales keep going up. I wonder if our add-on will do uh well enough. Oh, we can't actually do these. We can only do the two features that we haven't researched yet. That's interesting. Sure. Let's uh add them on with the add-on. Actually pretty neat. Uh, we're about to break even though, so I'll I'll take that for what it's worth. If I can make my way to break even point, I'll be happy. Because it means we still have all these uh, monthly subscriptions going. All right, the add-on number one, I don't have a name for it, is released. And we're going to wait a little bit because we're going to get rid of the bugs and make sure it's good. Release game. Yes, publish it. Uh, Self-produce, I guess. Sure, in two weeks. Sure. Just sell a whole new thing for 89% for the add-on. Okay. Produce some of the add-on. 250,000 of it. Sure, let's do it. And then let's go production and throw another 250,000 of our other game on there. I have absolutely no idea what's happening anymore. We should probably do a uh, marketing campaign for our add-on. I really hope that helps sell for other platforms. Um, well, it's fairly interesting because we have the add-on. I wonder if it helps sell the base game as well. Because it's, uh, that is going up. But I need more subscriptions, way more subscriptions. Sure, let's do some contract work, just why not? Okay, we're at half a million players, which is good because it means we're gonna get like 2.5 million a month just from this. World of Water, holy moly, what happened? Um, what, what just happened? Uh, I don't know what happened. We just sold 63,000. Um, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea why we sold so many there. Just a big boost in sales. Was there the, hmm, something was going on. That's good news. Very good news. I guess we're gonna keep throwing updates on it. Um, it would be nice if we could get the subscriptions to come up higher. Yes! We're about to hit a million. It seems that they're not too happy with the customer support, so I'm just gonna throw in two extra desks to help, their, uh, help them out, get that number up. Hidden by the moon, sure. What is our price right now for this? We're selling it for 109. You know what? Let's sell it for 99. It's okay. Maybe we can sell a few more game girls. I'll be happy. Oh, wow. World of Water just doubled. 113,000. What is happening? Why are we selling so many? <laughs> I honestly have no idea how that's working. Um, I wouldn't know. Not the slightest clue. Start production and let's let's go a little crazy. Produce five hundred thousand. Just have it on stock, and while we're at it, just add on a hundred thousand for the add-on, which we should also develop an update for. Might as well. So my big question is, if we develop, let's develop another add-on. You know, we did that before. That is that is the, I think the last thing I'm gonna do for this episode. Actually, I'm a little bit confused. Where where do I develop my uh, add-ons? Updates. No, there, MMO add-on. Okay, for a second I was really confused. Well, we're gonna do all the things. And this is gonna be add-on two. I know, I'm, I'm very creative with those. I guess the last time we didn't uh, fully release everything because there's still two like features for the add-on two that are not done. Maybe I should wait until those are done so that the uh, add-on is absolutely worth it. Uh, one of your level designers has accidentally overwritten an already finished level. The entire level must be recreated minus three. 
I don't think it's that relevant. Oh, ID Software has bought our development kit. Believe it or not. All right, the add-on sold extremely well. I'm sure it did. And we should be making like five million or something. Um, subscription price, yeah, five active subscription, one million. That means like five million a month, right? I mean, at least it pays for the servers. Your employees are bored. Uh, sure. Here is an arcade. Wait, do we even have a staff room? <gasps> I didn't buy a staff room, guys. No wonder they are bored. No wonder. Well, luckily we have some room to add. Wait, oh, why can't I not squeeze this in? What is wrong with that? There must be something. Oh, it's the door. Right. Look at this beautiful staff room. They're going to be so happy. That's a crazy staff room. Man. Okay, I'm kind of losing track of how many units I need to produce here. Uh, the add-on is still being produced. Uh, produce automatically like, I don't know, 100,000. Yeah, sure. Just to keep that up. Okay, the subscriptions still seem to stay up very well. Me 20 million. Yay! The game is really starting to add up. That's good. Uh, do we still have research? Yes, we do. And there's also plenty of features that need to be researched. Oh, we're just gonna turn that on. So some people can just keep researching there. If we have some extra, I'm gonna cancel that course to free those up. And our add-on is nearly done. I'm not gonna sell it right now because I wanna wait for... Uh, the graphics and the sound and everything to be ready. This, this is fairly important to me. We're gonna do a large booth this time. And we're going to do all the add-ons, including uh, our console. That's definitely worth it. 44,000 extra fans. Hopefully plenty of extra sales. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, I doubt we're going to see many more sales with the game grow. We're probably going to have to uh, develop a new console soon. I see no reason to... Uh, I'm not too worried about this right now. Uh, that is all nearly done. Just waiting for graphics to hit completion okay let's hope uh, that releasing the game right now is a good idea and the add-on 91 percent my firsty first 91 percent game and game of the month wonderful time to produce that stop production and produce it uh, 500,000 yes so let's go crazy here video game boom oh yeah that's exactly what I needed and I think we should also like produce a little bit more of add-on number one. And it's time to create an update for it. Okay, the sales of World of Water are going up again. And it's the hottest thing since Cut Bread. 100 hype. All the hype. That's good. Maybe we should just do an update for it. Just on top of everything. I, I see no reason not to. And it looks like we're doing really good in terms of money. Um... I am tempted to uh, switch to a free-to-play model, but maybe we're gonna experiment with that in the next episode because this has been going on for way too long. This is this is a long one. Uh, I still hope you enjoy it. I'll make sure that the next one is a little bit more concise and a little bit more compact. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye bye.